get to it after you. Oh, what does he have? A baseball bat. Here's a baseball bat. So we have a baseball and a baseball bat. And your correction is going to be right And here is a baseball that's a real baseball glove. That's a real one. Hmm. These friends have that have to do with baseball. Hats! They have baseball hats on their head. I'm thinking. Your brother, he does. So, so you just made a connection, right? Because you've seen your brother wear a baseball hat. Oh, what is he doing? He's hitting the ball. He's hitting the ball. So here is a boy hitting a baseball. He's hitting the ball. Yay, I love baseball. I am. I Oh. Home run. He's running. Go, go, go. Home run. So we read this book, Baseball. But inside this book, there are a few, a few tricky words. A few tricky words that Mrs. Pick is going to help you with. First word, it's going to be a little word, but it's not yet. So you guys will be the first ones to learn this word. The word is R. Can you say that? This is kind of a tricky word because when people see this word, it kind of looks like R. But this word is R. Can you say that? Found it, and you have a frame around it. Good job. I'm already at ten. Yes. No. It is page ten. Find the word R. A frame. A frame. A frame. A frame. Is this on the frame? Is this frame around it? This is how. This is frame. Awesome. That is a frame. Let's put our finger under that word and read that word. What's that R. word? R. That word is R. Read it one more time. R. R. When you come to that word inside of this book, you'll know that that word is R. There is another word in this book. It's a tricky word. It's really not really a tricky word. It's one of our word wall words. But we just got this word wall word. It's a new word wall word. So Mrs. Cook is going to remind us of that word wall word. That word is... Here. Oh, he's in practicing. I said here. here. Can you say that one? Here. Yeah. Look on the very, actually it's on page four. Page four. And find the word here for me. It is at the beginning. Quietly. Oh my gosh! Do you have a seat on your pocket? Let's put our finger under that word. Here. Turn the page. Can you find it again? Can you find it again? Here. There it is. Let's put our finger under that word and read it. Here. Here. One more time. Turn it again. Turn the page. What's that word again? Here. Here. There's another word. Here is a. Those are more. But I know you know those words. We are going to read this book called Baseball. I have a job for you while you're reading. Remember we talked about how sometimes we read for fun to make us laugh. And sometimes we read to learn. I want you to think about what I do you think the author wrote this book, Baseball. I don't think he would have wrote that. When you're done reading, I want you to be able to tell me why the author would have wrote this book. Did he write it for us to have entertainment and for fun, or did he write to give us information? Information. So you're going to read over here. You're fine, right where you are, and you're going to speak. Remember, we only read as loud in 
enough for Mrs. Cook to be able to hear you, but not for everyone else. Okay? Mrs. Cook's friends at their tables. Remember that I have friends at my table who need to be able to hear. So we're going to whisper read with our partners. Baseball. 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 What's the lady doing? What's the lady doing?
What in the picture? He, he's hitting the ball. What's hitting the ball? A bat. A bat. So when you read that word, you said here is a bat hitting the ball. Now, does that make sense? It makes sense, right? But when we put our finger under that word, put your finger under the word. When we say the word bat, what's the first sound we hear? A book. Is there a book at the beginning of that word? No. Is there a, is there a book? No. There is a book. When we say bat, ah, 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 what's the next sound we hear? We hear an ah, but there's an o. Oh. So can that word be bat? Mm -mm. It can't be bat. So, so we have to try to figure out what could that word be that's hitting the ball that starts with a b. So let's check the picture. Hmm. What, what else is in the picture that's hitting the ball? The person. Start, the person. Well, the person start with the book? No. It starts with the book. But what kind of a person is that? A baseball person. A baseball person? Okay. You said he is playing baseball. Hmm. How do you know he's a he? Because he's a boy. When I say the word boy, what sound do you hear at the beginning? Book. Book. Put your finger under your word. Put your finger under your word. Do you see a book? Yes. When I say b, o, 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 boy. Remember we talked about O and how sometimes it says it's only? Oh, 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 oh. Is there an O there? Yeah. Yeah. Boy. Boy. Do you see a, a letter there that makes a yeah? Yeah. 
So, what could that word be? Boy. Boy. Well, we always have to go back and we always have to reread to make sure it makes sense. Let's read the sentence 